And as you see, this is the hair follicle. This is marker B on the erector pylorum, the smooth muscle. A is the superficially located, the acrine type of sweat gland, which can be considered as merocrine. Merocrine, acrine is same. And uh, as you are talking about the D, it is the deeper location. So they are apocrine type of sweat gland. Now, what is the difference between the two we want to discuss? And marker C is, of course, the holocrine type of uh, gland which is a sebaceous gland in the periphery, the cells are intact, but towards the duct, they are broken, all the organelles are broken, and now the sebum is formed, and the entire cell becoming sebum itself. So what is the difference between these two types? You can see one schematic diagram here, also stratified squamous epithelium, which is coming down along the hair follicle. Along the hair follicle, you have sebaceous gland, which we just discussed. And this is the erector pylorum. We were talking about erector pylorum can work under sympathetic system for reduction of here, the goose bump. And holocrine gland is the sebaceous gland, whole of the cells broken to form sebum. But when you are talking about sweat gland, they are mostly acrine sweat gland and uh, some of them could be apocrine. Now, acrine sweat glands, first of all, they give watery secretion and uh, they are duct open at the surface, the actual sweat which comes. So like in the palm sole, you will have a lot of acrine glands. So acrine sweat glands, they are superficial in the dermis and they give watery secretion and the ducts are opening on the surface as compared with the apocrine variety. Apocrine variety, the secretions are viscous, thick and viscous and they are rarely found sweat gland and they are duct open into the hair follicle. So the secretions will come along with the hair follicle and moreover, Apocrine sweat glands are very few in number, like if somebody is asking, where do you find apocrine sweat gland? You say they are limited, like in the axilla with the hair follicles, peri nipple level with the hair follicles, peri genital, peri anal. So in the perineum, you can have hair and along with that, you have the apocrine variety of sweat gland. One more thing, you will see sweat glands which are deeper at level and the acrine are at a social level if you are comparing the two you will find acrine are taking less of eosin stain and the apocrine take deeper stain and uh, i'll show you the diagram again in the previous diagram we have compared the acrine with the apocrine i told you that acrine gland since there is low loss of cell membrane the margin of the lumen is smooth but here the margin of the lumen cannot be smooth there will be some blebs form so irregular margin of the lumen